G'day YouTube, hey Paul is well. I'm doing a video today on my Ryobi 18 volt misting pan. It's a very hot day today and it's a perfect day to be using this thing, that's for sure. Okay guys, this is it. All right now, pick this up, probably start of summer. I've seen this at Bunnings and I thought this would be fantastic. Got the misting function. Okay, so pretty much it's a fan. Okay, you got a high and low speed on it. So that's the low. That's the high. Okay. So it's pretty much similar to the hybrid fan, but this thing has a misting function. So it's got a pump. I won't turn it on just yet, but I'll get a bucket with water and I'll show you how this thing works. Okay, now this thing works better with a solid bucket, but I've just got the collapsible bucket. Okay, I'll put some water in it. Okay, that'll do it just to show you how it works. Underneath, you've got a garden hose input or you've got the suction input. Okay, so you can sit this on a 20 litre bucket if you wish. Okay, it's not one of the best buckets to use one of these collapsibles, but this will do just to demonstrate how it works. In case you turn your fan on, so generally you have that on high. And I have the misting function on low. Okay, so I found a 10 litre bucket, right? You can have this on high for two hours, okay? And on low, I found it uses about four litres an hour. So, um, yeah, if you want about four hours use, get a 20 litre bucket and use that. Okay, now I'll turn, the, I'll turn the mist on slow and I'll show you. You can see now, it's on low, mist. And that's spraying a mist of water, that's beautiful. Now you're out camping if you're somewhere out there where it's really stinking hot and you've got access to water, this thing is great. Look at that. That's on low, okay, low mist. You can put it on high. You hear the pump kick in, and that's a high mist. That's pretty nice. Okay, now I'll just show you the back of the fan. This is where the battery goes in. Okay, there we have got the 5 amp hour riding battery in this. I wish I brought the tripod, I just left it at home. Forgot all about it. So I sort of got to hold the phone here, it makes it a bit hard. You can even turn the mist on with the fan off. And I'll show you. That's the mist on a low. And on high. So that's just mist and no fan. But it's better with fan on. That shoots out a fair way. It does. But yeah, you're better off with a solid bucket. This thing is sort of going to collapse. I've got this resting against the back here. It doesn't fit on here properly, but those 20 litre buckets, it fits absolutely perfect on them. Even the, the laundry buckets, the 9 litre ones, you know, you fill one of them and you turn this on low, you'll get two hours out of the bucket of water, no problem. But yeah, awesome if you've got access to water, really good. Something you wanna put on your camping list, you know, in the heat. This thing here is really, really good. It doesn't use a lot of power. So I reckon you'd get a five amp hour battery, you'd probably, I don't know, you might get 10 hours out of it. But um, you're gonna be running out of water before you run out of battery power. So you just gotta make sure you got enough water, at least four liters per hour on low and at least five litres per hour 
on high mist function. Okay, now if you're doing a large outdoor area, this is the ultimate. Get a big fan. And get one of these little misting fans. Awesome combo for an outdoor area. Really, really good. Especially for camping. These are awesome. They're really good. Just get a bucket of water and that's all you need. Ah, oh, it's nice. Sort of like mist, but yeah, it's awesome. It just goes all over the place, and it's pretty cool. You just sit down and and you can feel it. It's very nice. The misting fan does not have the capability of the 240 volt plug-in, where the hybrid does. So that's the difference. But the hybrid doesn't have the misting function. And the actual misting fan is a cheaper price than the actual hybrid fan. So the misting fan is a pretty good idea if you've got the water available. Okay, so as for warranty for Ryobi, now I had a problem with the battery. It was faulty. I went down to Bunnings. They simply just done the same thing. They put on a charger. They found it was faulty. They replaced it with a new one. Nice and easy, no paperwork. Really good. Awesome. So the warranty is great. For Ryobi products, they're fantastic. They replace it. So you've got the Ryobi batteries. It's not a bad thing. It's pretty good. You got six year warranty on these when you register them online. Okay, so you can't beat the warranty. They're really, really good. And you know, I took the battery back. I had a faulty battery that went back to Bunnings, and I thought that was fantastic. They didn't ask any questions. They just wanted to see the receipt. And they gave me another battery. They didn't even hesitate. So easy, so quick, so simple. You know, you just can't beat the six year warranty that they have on these, because they actually just replace them. So yeah, one warranty claim I've had, and I reckon it's fantastic. Always had Ryobi, but never had a warranty issue, only once, and it was a great experience, really good. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much, all the best. Take care. See you later.